Green Goblin. Beat your little skinny green butt. Spider kick. Spider kick. Spider senses. There's a camera right there. Oh! What's up? You must be the people watching this Mobile Cup of Joe video. Well, for those of you that don't know, I'm obviously not Joe Maureen. I am, in fact, Peter Parker, a.k.a. your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, here co-hosting the show for Joe Maureen while he is in a bit of a sticky situation right now. So Joe gave me the LG G2 to unbox for you guys today. Uh, Joe tells me the phone is pretty insane, packing in stuff like a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 quad-core processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 5.2 inch 1080p full HD edge to edge display, along with a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with optical image stabilization. So, pretty excited to uh, get the chance to unbox this phone for you guys today here on this little fancy YouTube show called Mobile Cup of Joe. So, guys, without further ado, since Joe's here, might as well say the words for him. Before we go any further in this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig for a Mobile Cup of Joe. Now, uh, I better get out of here and review this. Well, Green Goblin. Spider senses are tingling, guys. Joe Marin will take over the video after this. I gotta go kill some Green Goblin butt. Whoa! Okay, so here we are with my unboxing video for the LG G2 right here. Before we get too far in this video, would like to give a big thank you and shout out to our friends and pals over at Verizon Wireless for hooking us up with the LG G2 and other awesome Verizon products. Guys, it really is because companies like Verizon that do make Mobile Cup of Joe possible because they sent us products like the G2 to unbox and review for you guys, our fans. So big thanks to Verizon. You know what? Let's go ahead and get started with this unboxing video. So just to run down uh, some uh, key specifications for the phone, the LG G2 is packing in a 5.2 inch 1920 by 1080p full HD display. You've got a 2.26 gigahertz quad core. Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with optical image stabilization, a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera. Other specs include a 3000 milliamp hour non removable battery, 16 or 32 gigabytes of internal storage, although there is no micro SD card slot for expansion, and you also have Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean on the device right here. So with all those key specs out of the way, let's dive into the box and see what she's bringing. On the front, we have a G2 logo with some nice colors going around right there. Uh, on the bottom just says the LG logo. On the right hand side, we have, it looks like a Verizon 4G LTE certified logo there. Uh, same thing on the left, LG, life's good on the bottom, and some SKU information on the top. Back of the box is telling us what the package contains. We get an LG G2, a pre-installed SIM card, embedded lithium polymer battery, wall USB charger, quick reference guide, product safety and warranty brochures, glow support brochure. So let's go ahead and slide this little do doohickey off. And here we have a one of the most colorful packages I have seen for a smartphone guaranteed right there. Loving all the fancy colors we got going around right here. Either that's how it's meant to be designed or my PR guy at Verizon got a little carried away with his face paint. And there we go, ladies and gents, set this to the side. There is the LG G2 in all her glory right there. Set that off to the side for a minute so we can dive into the rest of the package. In here, looks like we've got our standard stuff, our USB to, or micro USB to full USB syncing slash charging cable, along with our AC wall outlet adapter with our LG logo. And we have got some of these fun brochures, get to know your phone. Uh, let's not open that up and look at it. Let's actually pack all this away because I am really interested to see what this phone's packing. That's not going back together. So we're going to throw it off to the side because I am dying like crazy to get into this phone right here. So let's go ahead and take off the plastic. No real good sounds with it there. Take this off. And we should probably leave that sticker on right there. So here's the G2. The biggest thing you're going to notice with the phone is that the buttons are on the back. Rather than having our power slash lock button and our volume rocker on the top or on the sides like we normally do with smartphones, you can see that there are no buttons whatsoever 
along any of the sides of the phone. On the G2, your power slash lock button right there is sitting in between your volume up and your volume down buttons. So LG has said that this is a more natural feel because most people hold their phones with their index finger resting on the back. So rather than having to reach over and touch a button on the top or the left or right, you can just simply move your finger and press the buttons like so. So let's actually go ahead and turn on the phone now to take a deeper look at it. Got our LG logo right there. We'll let her power up for a bit. Take this plastic off from the side. We got our Verizon logo coming in incredibly fast, actually. And let's see, English, United States, that is us next. Please wait for activation. Well, alrighty, Mr. LG. You're the boss and you're telling us what to do. We are still waiting for that activation right there. Looks like we are getting some text messages on the old Pebble. Great smartwatch. So it looks like it's going to take a while. So we're going to go ahead and cut the video. And we, we, will, uh, we will be back in just a jiffy when the LG G2 is all set up and ready to go. So here we finally are with the LG G2 all set up and ready to go. Got it all ready. And there is our notification with that boys choir. Not sure if you could hear that since my microphone is on. Uh, so this is the G2 anyways though. One of the biggest things is this 5.2 inch 1080p full HD display. And you can see that the quality on this thing is just uh, really incredible. You won't be able to get the full effect again since we upload our videos in a max of 720p HD. But the screen on this thing is incredibly vibrant. And as you can tell, this is an edge-to-edge -edge display. Uh, you just look, the notifications and everything are pushing it right to the very boundaries of the phone. Uh, really just an incredible thing to look at. Really, there's virtually no bezel anywhere around the phone. And it really just makes it feel like you're holding a little mini TV in your hand thanks to these incredibly small bezels. You can see the phone is also incredibly fast thanks to that quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor. Really won't be able to demo it too much here since this is just an unboxing video, but this phone should prove to be incredibly fast. Now, we do want to touch on this power button real quick for a second because uh, for it being, with it being on the back, LG has included a feature called Knock On. So if you tap your screen twice, the phone sh will turn on like so. So... Tap it twice to power the screen off. Tap it twice, turn it on, unlock, tap it twice again to shut it off like that. It's a really cool feature. So if your phone is sitting down because that uh, power button is on the back side, just got to knock twice or knock it like that. So a pretty cool little feature that LG has included here with the phone. Uh, going down from our notifications, we do have some customizations uh, from, we'll clear all of our notifications we have some customizations from lg up here we've got our q slide apps right here which we can swipe through and we don't want to open one right now did i open one i'm not sure oh, we've got other settings quick memo quick remote wi-fi airplane all those fun all that fun stuff if we go ahead and hop into our settings real quick and we go to what should we go to if we go to about phone and we go to uh, software information. You can see that we are running Android version 4.2.2 Jelly Bean, but knowing LG, we should see an update to 4.3 Jelly Bean, hopefully in the very near future, and hopefully we do see this phone updated to 4.4 KitKat when it does become available. Now, there's a lot of deep customization with the G2. Always do love how LG includes a lot of customization options with their Optimus user interface that's layered over Android. So if we go to the home screen right here, uh, we can change our theme. So right now it's on basic. We can change it to a marshmallow theme. We can change our swipe effect actually for our wallpaper. So right now it is on the breeze effect right here. But if we wanted to change it to something of a carousel, we can do that. And then if we go back, we can see that when we swipe through, we do have that carousel effect. You can also turn the G2 into, into a... Uh, horizontal mode or at least you should be able to do that let's go into our settings actually and see if you can do that i'm pretty sure yeah portrait view only so if we uncheck that and we tilt it on its side you can use the g2 
in a landscape mode, which should be really nice too if you're laying in bed or something, holding the phone like this in one hand, you do have the option to view it like this. There's a lot, a lot more customization options here in the G2, a lot more features, but that's all we really have time to touch on here in the unboxing video. We're going to be diving into all the things this phone is packing in in our full review, which we hopefully should be able to get up in a couple of weeks. Really excited to take a look at this phone because this is one of the hottest products of 2013 so really interested to see how it stands up to the rest of the competition if there's something specific with the g2 you'd like to see us cover in our review guys please let us know what it is in the comments below now with all that said that is all the time we have for this episode of mobile cup of joe guys if you like the video please go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it, it takes one second to do so and it really does help support the show and if you want to share your support towards the show even more I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit the subscribe button for more Mobile Cup of Joe videos. Guys, Mobile Cup of Joe, we're on YouTube, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. And make sure you head on over to our website at www.mobilecupofjoe.com for the latest in technology news, reviews, giveaways, and more. I am Joe Martin from mobilecupofjoe.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.